Hey guys, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review and kind of first looks a little bit of Speed Intensifier. Now, Speed Intensifier has been out since the beginning of the year, but the new 4.0 version, which has only been out for a few days, uh, really changes the game. Now, if you're not jailbroken, this is definitely a reason to jailbreak. Uh, this may change your mind on the uh, aspect of jailbreaking and the dangers involved in doing so. For those of you that know me, I'm a huge jailbreaker. I've jailbroken since uh, almost you know, whence the time you could. I mean, I was jailbreaking before there were even official tools, before Ponage tool, and you had to kind of do stuff in the command line back in the days of iPhone 1, back in 2007. So I've been a huge jailbreaker. It's come miles and miles over the past few years. Stability is much better. There's no probability that you break your device. So really, if you haven't tried jailbreaking, do it. There's absolutely no reason uh, to not try it and you can't break you cannot break your device anymore you may be put into a state that you're like oh crap what do i do but if you look on forms you'll find help there's no way almost no way to break your device you have to do something very stupid you almost have to intentionally break it so i'd say try jailbreaking but that's aside the point this is of speed intensifier which is a little application that uh, speeds up the processes of your iPhone. Now, there is an application that's very similar to this that has been out since the first of the year called Fake Clockup. Now, what Fake Clockup did was exactly the same that the original Speed Intensifier did, and I'm gonna show you that right now. As you can see, animations are nice, but they're a little bit slow, and sometimes you want them to go a little bit faster. So what Speed Intensifier uh, allows you to do is select an interval in which you can speed up the transitions on your I device. So we're going to change it to four here and you have to respring in order for uh, changes to take effect. So we're going to, sorry, this isn't my iPod and I'm doing it through a camera. So it's a little bit tough to use. Uh, so we've respringed it and you're going to notice that even though applications don't actually load faster, once they're loaded, they are a lot faster. So settings seems like it loads faster. It doesn't really just because the animation is sped up. But when you go into sounds, all these menus are significantly faster at loading. And that's because the transition time is four times faster. There's not anything that's actually faster on your device. So speed intensifier and fake clock up alike speed up these transitions, which give you the feeling that your device is faster. And the advantage does, or the advantages to this is you feel like it's faster, but you don't actually consume any more CPU than you would normally, which means there's no decrease in battery life. There's nothing that you have to worry about on the back end. You don't have to worry, oh crap, is my battery gonna be dead by 12 noon? Because it doesn't actually speed up the CPU of your phone and of your iPod. It just speeds up the transitions. Now with Speed Intensifier 4, that all changes. There's a thing called Speed Intensifier add-ons, which you can add, and it adds three little uh, winterboard widgets and you can overclock speed up or underclock your CPU which actually um, will overclock your CPU so it removes those battery limitations on your iPhone because if you weren't aware of it your iPhone and your iPod were all pretty well underpowered and that's one thing Apple does to get such the great battery life but at the same time you don't really have the full power of your iDevice and this removes that restriction so you will notice battery to die quite a bit faster um, it consumes about a percent every three to four minutes so for practical use, you wouldn't want to have this enabled. But for example, if you were going to be doing some heavy duty gaming or processing, or you know, you really needed the CPU out of your iPhone, you could be able to do this uh, using this application. And you'll notice that applications that typically take a very long time to load, load significantly faster, and uh, things are much faster on the back end than they were before. And it really just is uh, really something that's pretty incredibly pretty incredibly cool. So Speed Intensifier is a free download. I don't know if it will continue to be free once development has pretty much been completed, but right now it's free from the Insanely Eye repository. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's down in the bottom box. Again, Speed Intensifier itself just uh, changes or quadruples or speeds up the animations on your eye device, and it is actually the winterboard add-on package that actually overclocks your CPU. So if you don't want, if you're not fond of your battery dying fast, if you're not fond of all those other modifications you're making, overclocking your CPU, whatnot, at a minimum, you can change that animation speed and everything will seem significantly faster. And you use a little, you lose a little bit of the beauty of iOS, but boy, do you get the full power out of it. And then if you want to go the extra mile and suck every little bit of CPU you can out of it, um, knowing that you'll sacrifice a little bit of battery, you can get the winter 
leaderboard overclocking add-ons. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic. This application has won my heart. I have a uh, speed intensifier enabled at all times. And then I use the uh, winterboard widgets or the ones that actually overclock your CPU when I'm going to be playing a game or something that is uh, in need of some extra CPU. So it's absolutely fantastic. I love this application. It's great. It's free. So there's no harm in trying it. If you don't like it, just uninstall. And it's available for free from the Insanely I repository. Go to www. Well, actually, don't do that. It's just down in the description bar below. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.